seen what the new Apple Watch Series 4 says it can do. I kind of likened it to Apple slapping a doctor on your wrist where it wants to. The new watch is built in an EKG scanner that has been cleared by the FDA. The data collected on the watch can be directly shared with your doctor. The watch also does other things like track activity and nutrition. How might this disruptor change the world for electrocardiogram makers, hospital quality, and Henry Schein, which distributes EKG machines to hospital and doctors? Good thing Stan Bergman is here. He's the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein here in a Fox Business exclusive. Uh, FDA approved personal EKG machines have been out there for a long time uh, that are pretty reliable. But does this Apple Watch change the dynamic at all from where you sit as a big distributor of EKG machines? So, Liz. 18% of GDP is spent on health care. Two-thirds of that, or 12% of GDP, is related to what's called the NCDs, the non-communicable diseases. You can reduce the spend on NCDs through wellness programs and prevention programs. Any form of measurement of these vital signs and sending that information in an intraoperable way to the physician's office so that the physician can interpret is a good thing. Whether the Apple system does it or not, I will leave that up to the doctor to decide. Okay, but do you get the sense that any of the EKG equipment makers with whom you deal might be feeling a little threatened by this, or do they look at it as, med as positively as you do? Well, I, at the end of the day, I think the physician is going to want to have uh, an in-office EKG at some point. To confirm a, a of personal watch. Yes, I mean, there but could we be have to also be careful issues. that people don't get a little neurotic about this because you have to listen to <laughs> Good your... Good luck in New York with neurosis. <laughs> you have to listen to your physician right. at the end of the day and the physician should be the one that determines your treatment, not the patient. Medical device business. You're huge in this, but also as you distribute these pieces of medical device equipment, the House just recently voted in August to get rid of the 2.3 percent medical device yeah. tax that had been slapped on right. during Obamacare. Uh, it hasn't all the way been passed with the Senate, etc. But what do you think about that? Do you think it'll happen? Well, the, the tax on equipment was just a further expense in driving health care costs up. So with eliminating of that tax, and we hope it eventually gets eliminated, I think it will have a positive impact on the cost of health care. We love costs coming down. That's what generics are supposed to do. Teva Pharmaceuticals hitting a new big move here today because it got yet another approved drug. First it got approved for an EpiPen alternative. Right. And now the FDA has approved a migraine drug that so many people need. How do you view the FDA? It seems, maybe I'm misinterpreting it, but it seems like they're speaking Heating up and getting rid of the red tape process of drug approval. Right. Obviously, I don't want to comment on whether the drug is effective, uh, whether it's a good drug or not. But generic drugs are good in general, because generic drugs are actually a copy of the branded or innovative drug. But otherwise, the FDA wouldn't approve them. So, if those same drugs are available at a lower price, why not? How do you feel about Scott uh, Gottlieb's leadership so far with the FDA, from what you can see? Well, I wouldn't want to comment on any one individual, but generally the FDA has done an amazing job, especially in the last few decades, where they've kept us healthy and made sure that only effective products come to market. We want to be healthy as the flu season approaches. A lot of our viewers get yes. flu shots, some don't. I do. I always get a flu shot. Uh, but tell me how this season is shaping up to be. I know the 2017 season was considered uh, it was classified as a high severity, 180 pediatric deaths last year. What are you hearing now as one of the biggest distributors of the flu shot? Well, firstly, you've got to consult your physician on whether you should use a vac uh, flu vaccine or not. Mm -hmm. Having said that, vaccines are good in general, and the flu vaccine has proven to prevent, save lives. So flu vaccine is very good. Obviously, from year to year, there are shortages, and we have a guarantee program for our physicians whereby if they order in time, uh, they place the order uh, in January, say, for the following year, they will get their product uh, on, on time. Oh, wow. And finally, you guys are a company with conscience. You're always rushing in to help during disasters. Hurricane Florence yes. is a total disaster. You have a hotline? Yes, we uh, have a hotline ready going, uh, and we're there to help any practitioner, any dental, medical, or veterinary practitioner that may need support. And we're there helping on the front line. Good to see you, Stanley. Thank you very much.